It doesn't take long for things to petrify. Here's petrified firewood. The guy chopped on it before it turned to stone. Here's mummified dog stuck in a tree. Turned to stone. Chased a coon up the tree, apparently, and got stuck. They named it Stucky. What would you call it? Okay. Here's petrified cowboy boot with the cowboy's leg still in it. The boot was made in 1950, and the leg is turned to stone. Here's petrified fish giving birth. It does not take millions of years to give birth. Praise God. Okay. Here's a petrified hat. Petrified pickle found in a jar. The guy sent me the jar and pickle. He said, Brother Hovind, I found this in Montana in an old home. The house was you know, junk. The roof was gone. The house was falling apart. But he said, you want a petrified pickle for your museum? I said, of course. Who in their right mind would not want a petrified pickle? You know? <laughs> Come on down to Pensacola and Dinosaur Adventure Land and see the petrified pickle. Here's petrified sacks of flour found in a uh, flour mill that flooded in 1910 in Eureka Springs, Arkansas. Here's petrified toadstool. There's an amazing gem and mineral museum just south of Bloomington, Illinois, in the little bitty tiny town called Shirley, Illinois. You've got to be trying to find it to get there, but it's worth going to see the Funk Gem and uh, Mineral Museum. Okay? Here's petrified acorns. This kid sent them to me. He said, Brother Hovind, I was, I was seven years old at the time. He said, I stuck these acorns in a bucket of water, and I thought they might you know, sprout and make some trees, and I forgot about them. Next spring, my mama found the bucket on the back porch, and the acorns had turned to stone. He said, would you like them for your museum? <laughs> I said, of course. Come on down and see the petrified acorns. More on petrification on video number uh, six.